Okay, I can't fit my backdrop in here because this is what... What we're not gonna do is talk about that. Okay, anyways. <laughs> Let me make an intro, because I keep forgetting to make intros and outros. Sue me. I was recently at Coachella, and the last day of Coachella, my makeup looked so good. Like, so good. Grace, insert a photo right here of the picture with my hair in the, the wind or whatever. I don't look like that. At least I thought I didn't look like that, because what? The rest of the day is... It was like okay, like I barely did makeup, but then the last day we had a lot of time because it was Sunday and there's like no events. Why did it look so good? I was like, <laughs> and I did it in like 30 minutes, but I was like talking in between. I was like getting up, getting mimosas, like I was just doing my makeup. And I didn't bring all of my, I didn't have all my makeup with me, but I have that exact makeup in a bag right next to me. So I'm going to try to recreate it and show you guys because it doesn't take that long. It's like a few products. But, I mean, you saw the picture. Like, I don't look like that. But I'm going to see if I can recreate that because I'm filming today. And I want to look like that. And it's, like, the first time I did, like, natural eyeshadow. You know, like, how people have, like, their routines and they have, like, the same eyeshadow routine where, like, they know it looks good? I usually don't use eyeshadow. I just do, like, a liner. Or I just do mascara and, like, call it a day. But, like, if I can use eyeshadow? Woo! And you guys are going to be like, what eyeshadow palette? I'm going to show you because it's also just such a weird, like, palette that I grabbed before, like, leaving for Coachella in a rush. And now it might be my favorite one. I am going to clean up my eyebrows first because I don't think I'm going to have time to get them done before because I'm going to Stagecoach, which you guys will see this video after Stagecoach. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm going to clean them up because it's Okay. The eyebrows are clean. That's it, that's No! Okay. Skincare is important. I already did that. I used Road. Now, for the base, I didn't use foundation. I used concealer from Makeup by Mario, and I used my shade. I think it's this one. I thought I had a third one in this bag, but I'm not seeing it in the bag. So, it's somewhere. Maybe it's in this bag. Literally half of my makeup process takes this much time because I'm looking for concealers. Okay, this one's lighter, this one's darker. So, this. This is the concealer we're gonna use. Then I used Rare Beauty. Illuminating primer, we've been known this. And I just put this all over my face. And the thing with this one too is that like, I know I'm gonna do this makeup probably for the entire stage coach unless I do like a cool eyeshadow. I had bug bite right here yesterday. Like, why is it white? Yeah! Wait, like why is it white? <laughs> Oh my god, we're going with Seb for stagecoach. <laughs> Seb's driving. <laughs> Sebby! Okay. That's the primer first. What was I saying? This is why I can't film videos. Oh, that just being with like concealer and stuff, like my makeup did not move once. I got back home and it looked the same, and I was in a festival full of dirt and sweat. Anyways, so this concealer here, I'm going to. The same color i know hello my face is like currently i don't know if you can see it breaking out right here so don't pay attention to that that's from i put something that i'm allergic to on my face and i don't know what it is yet it was from yesterday so it's gonna look bumpy right here don't pay no mind to that that was not there when i did this the first time okay i put the concealer like where i would usually put concealer and then just a tad bit more since i'm not using um foundation so I'm gonna put concealer over these bumps because they're annoying. I don't know what I use differently though on my face. So I need to figure that out. It's just like a little rash. Um, but it only happens when I use a product that my face did not my face did not like. So I'm putting these all where the rash is, and I'm gonna put a little here so that my blush sticks and stays. Cover up this stupid little mosquito bite that I got. And There. Now, my concealer brush that I'm hoping I didn't use for sparkles. This is the, this is a Tarte brush. I don't know, but I like it because it's dense. And I'm using a brush to blend it out. I, you usually don't, you, you guys know I don't usually use brushes, but 
I use the brush first and then I go in with the beauty blender. So let me blend it all out how I normally would. Okay, this is with the base. Yes, it's lighter up here because I haven't contoured. Then I'm taking just a slightly lighter shade of the concealer and I'm gonna just put it right here. Raw. Just a little bit right there and a little bit right there and then a little bit on my nose because that's where my highlight is. A little bit on and a little bit right here because it's shadowing and the sun is up. It's crazy. It's a little crazy. Same brush, and just blend it. Oh my god, these bumps are so annoying. I hate when that happens. But it go away, but like they go away like now. Also a thing is is that I was like touching I like when I go to concerts and festivals and stuff, I don't like doing a lot of makeup because I'm always touching my face. Literally 24-7 I'm touching my face. No one can tell me not to, I'm just gonna do it anyways. So I don't know how this makeup stayed. It, like maybe it's the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. I mean, everyone knows that's like the best. So maybe it was that, but maybe I wasn't using foundation. I mean, it's like hot, like it was hot outside and like gross. So I don't know exactly what changed at all. <laughs> but okay, this is the base, it's this is flat. This isn't flat yet. Like, you know what I mean by flat? Like, when you put on foundation, your skin tone goes to one. I'm not doing that with here because I'm going to be putting contour there anyways. The less product on my face, the better. So, I got in with a, the Rare Beauty um, contour stick. I used to have the Makeup by Mario one, but I used all of it up. <laughs> and this one, literally, they both work amazingly, so I'll just do both. I contoured pretty heavy the last one i do both cream and powder contour but this is where i contoured it i usually don't do that thick of lines there but i guess i did something in the picture because i look different and obviously my skin tone is like very close to like that shade so it's not going to do much and then i contoured this like there and then i went here like that and then i went right here like that and then, with this one, I went in with a beauty blender. And I just blend upwards. You're gonna be putting, you're still gonna be putting powder on, and you're still gonna be setting it, so it doesn't have to be as clean as you want it to be. Because in the end, it will look like that. And then I blend this like all the way into my eyelid. And I do the same with my blush. I've learned that, like blush on the eyelids. I know a lot of people do that, but I stopped doing blush up here for a while, and I started doing it right here, because that's where I get like sunburnt. And I thought that was like really cute. And so I like go half and half. If I'm gonna be like on carpet or taking pictures, I like to put it up here because it like snatches everything back. But if I'm just hanging out and not doing anything, I'll put it right here. I got it on my ear. And then I just drag this one here and just like follow my jawline with it. And then same when I go under, I kind of just drag it. I don't really blend it in. It's not noticeable there as much, so I'm just gonna drag it out. Just get some shading down there. Yeah. So let me blend out the rest. What was the next step? <laughs> oh, my blush. Okay, I talk about this way too much, this blush. Get it, just get it. It's the Tarte Man Eater Satin Blush. Cheek plump in shade. Hot pink. I'm just saying, get it. It's worth it. Put that here, and I'm gonna blend upward. You don't need a lot of it. That's what's so great about this. And it's buildable. Put them right here. I still go in with powder blush as well, but that's after setting. And then I use this like tarp brush. I got all these tarp products on the Bora Bora trip, so I've just been using them because they're really nice. But I use a brush to blend out the blush. Blush brush say that ten times or don't What am I saying anyways blend that up see how much that like already get I like barely put any on I Love a lot of blush so I might add more But I know I'm going in with powder later too, so I can just build off of that If I want to I don't want to irritate like the brushes are irritating this book by and it's gonna start itching again <laughs> And then my nose. I kind of like drag it up a little bit. 
apa ya all the way up into my eyeball so that is this blush then i go on with my beauty blender and just make sure there's no like crazy lines that i created with the brush and get the creases out because i'm about to powder okay powder if i wanted a heavy full coverage like i'm not going anywhere i'm going to be inside i would use the huda beauty one um but this one is very light the Givenchy one and it still sets everything but it doesn't feel heavy you know what i mean like i like when i'm like inside like taking pictures and i can feel that my makeup is set and like dried down this one when you're out you want it to feel more flexible and i think this one does really well at that my all of my colors are mixed up because i've shaken it so much but it works out perfectly so i'm gonna go actually wait no i used where did that thing go i used you stick this I usually use the beauty blender, but I use this. Dipped it in the powder, took off the extra, and blended that in like that. And then I put some on my eyelids as well, because I put concealer on there when I blended it out. I don't want it to crease. Like that. It looks light, but you're adding powder and stuff back into it. Don't worry. And then same on the side. And I'm not really dragging it, I am lifting it up. It just sounds like I'm dragging it. Like so. And then my chin area. If you're gonna be drinking or eating, make sure you set this area or you're gonna get lines. Or if you spill, it's gonna take your makeup off. Top of my nose. And then just a little bit of the extra on my forehead because there is gonna be powder that's going up on there. And like, see how it's like white? Like, I look white. It's, I have to add the colors back in. But like, you can still see the blush and the contour. It's just not as easy. And then the normal contour spot. I think. Set under your nose. Okay, so now that I look like a completely different color, you gotta get a brush and you gotta blend it out. And you. And I just brush off. All the extra. I'm still gonna look pasty, I know. But you'll see when I come back in with the powder and stuff. Like my forehead, because you know, like, forehead's usually darker, so it's like a little bit different. <laughs> but I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but my base is so smooth. Like, it's perfect. I don't know if you can tell, but whatever. Then, going in with the Quantua. I'm using the Makeup by Mario in shade medium dark, the soft sculpt bronzer, as you can tell. And I need my brush for that. I need you. And I need my nose contour brush. You. And then I need you. And then I need you. Okay. So, go in with this brush. This is the F2 Makeup by Mario one. And I'm going in with the small side first when I'm dipping into the powder. And then I use the big side to blend it out. And I just follow where I did um, my cream contour. And then any spots that look a little too white out from your powder, you just go over it with that. You want to make sure your contour also matches your undertone or it will look weird, trust me. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just like adding it back in. And then if you want more, you add more, you add less. This is very buildable. And I don't like when that line is so sharp right there, so I do blend that out, but that's up to y'all. Because I know how people like it, like, clean cut. But I like it to be like I'm not really wearing. Like, I'm wearing makeup, but, like, you aren't like, oh, she's wearing makeup. You know what I mean? When it comes to, like, my base. So if I were to just keep it my base, I always blend it out. But if I'm doing, like, a full glam, then I'll, like, cut it sharp. Because that's just, like, the art of it. And I take the bigger side and I just blend it all in with the rest of my makeup that's on my face. Okay, then I go in. Oh my god, this bug way is crazy. Okay, put makeup on it. Why is it sticking out like that? Anyways, I go in with my Rare Beauty brush. I love this one for contour, nose contour. And I just dip it into the powder. And I'm going to follow that natural highlight line that I have on my nose. Like so. 
lot of people say don't bring it up all the way, like your contour, but it looks fine when I do it, so <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna keep doing it. And then I do a big line across the top. I mean, I'm still like learning how to contour my nose, I don't really know how. Once I have that down, then I blend it. So I take a dense brush, I'm gonna take this one take just like a dense one and I'm just blending it downward because you want to keep that highlight line in the middle so you want to blend it as much as you can so it's not like so sharp but you don't want to like take away that middle highlight spot because that's what still lotion you want to keep the lotion at least on the bridge can't tell if it's showing it's blended all the way or not yeah okay so there's that if you need more, you add more. If you want it to be more like standout-ish, don't blend it so much. But that's how I like it. Perfect. Okay. If it gets too messy, like around the sides too, you just take your powder brush and you just blend that out. Okay. Just like so. Focus so bright when I get close. <laughs> Anyways, next is blush and I used this beauty. Valentino Beauty Eye and Cheek Dual Use Blush in shade 5. Look how pretty it is. First of all, like, hello. <laughs> and then I take this It Cosmetics brush that's like dual ended and um, I'm pretty sure this is like for foundation and concealer but I really like this because I use this for my nose this would also be good for contour if you just want to take one brush this is a good one as well but I just dab it in there this is very pigmented I learned that and you just want to dab it up and into the eyelid like so we're just bringing that color a little bit more back after all that powder because I am blush obsessed I'm obsessed with blush it's my favorite thing Ever, and I want to be able to see it. I want that to be the thing that stands out on my face is my blush. Which I used to not use blush. Is that weird? Like, I literally used to not use blush at all. Blush or highlight. Now, I'm like obsessed with both. So that changed. And then for my nose, I literally once said before, I've seen photos of freaking Nessa that has blush as like contour. And I fell obsessed with it. So I started doing it. <laughs> so just like that, like I just line, don't do the nose part, I just do the sides. I don't know what it is, but I'm obsessed with it. So shout out Nessa, you're clean for showcasing that. <laughs> for literally creating that. I'm gonna say you are the creator. Now I'm just blending the blush out so it's not so like, like blocked, I guess you could say, I don't know. I want it in my eye, up as close to my eye as I can get it. So, okay, let me switch out the products so I can bring in the other ones. Okay, on to the next thing. I don't color in my brows if they're cleaned up like this. This one's always uneven, I will always complain about it. This one has a point, this one doesn't. It's so stupid, but I don't care. I'm using the Tarte Brows for Days. I usually use the Anastasia Beverly Hills one, but I ran out of it. So I don't know what to do. I need to get more is what I need to do. I love, both of these work perfectly. So I'm gonna use this one cause this one's new. I got it on the Bora trip. <laughs> but um, my Anastasia one ran out. I gotta get a new one. And I usually, when I do pencil in the corner when it's like pissing me off, I use the Anastasia brow whiz. The Anastasia ones I use are in my Amazon storefront which is linked down below if you want that it's amazing but i'm using the clear one from tarte brows for days and i just brush up i know everyone is yelling at me to do my brows first i cannot i can't it doesn't work for me <laughs> when i do them first i cannot get foundation or concealer to stay there and also i can't get foundation up in this part of my brow you see how it's like not much going on right there I don't color that part in because it looks weird, it looks too blocky. So if I do my brows first, I can't get anything to stick in that area, even if I wipe it off beforehand. So I have to do them like this. 
I brush them out with the gel, get them into the space that I want, and then I just take a spoolie, which like, y'all need spoolies for your rooms. I get spoolies and the Q-tips with the points on them. Just get a huge pack of them and then thank me later. I think I also have the ones that I got for cheap in my Amazon storefront if you wanna check that out. But I use that so that I don't get gel all around when I'm trying to like straighten them out. Why can't my brows just be the same? Okay, and then I take the spoolie. And that's as even as they're going to get. <laughs> oh my god, my forehead. Ah! Let it dry so that they don't move. I can tell you that the Anastasia one and these ones are good because I always am moving my eyebrows. I'm always putting one up. And it doesn't move the middle part. If that makes sense. I don't know. Okay. Next, we're going to move on to eyeshadow. Let me grab it. Don't mind that. He's getting nails out of a bag for my room. Which, coming soon. I don't... I, you might see it before... This comes out, so if you haven't yet, I'm doing a room thing, and it's going to be really nice, so I'm just saying, that's what I'm getting ready for. Anyways, Valentino Color Flip Multi, 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 which one? Comment down below. Look, Eye Palette has two bases, four colors, two top shimmers. It is in, I'm assuming, like, the palette number one, but it's like this, and then it flips, and there's more. I just used this for my eyeshadow look that day, and I'm like, what the? So, let me try and remember what I did, and then I will show you guys. Okay, I think I got it. So, I used brown lip liner. This is the NYX one for my waterline. I'm just saying, it stays better because it's a lip liner, but waterproof also works, but I can also get this out easier. So, I go on my waterline just to darken it a little bit. Maybe not get it all everywhere. Like that. Okay. Just a wee bit darker. And not like black. I just wanted like light. And I literally was using the Valentina like little brushes <laughs> inside the palette. So I'm gonna do that as well. I think I used this one and then I used like one other brush for like the sparkles. I think it was this one. Like these two like brand <laughs> brushes. No cursing, sorry. But I went in with the brown shade first. It's right here. This one. And I just put that all over my lid and then blended it out. I know I have another brush in here that I use. Okay. So this first. Go in with the color. Let me take off this screen. I can do it. Make sure you guys can see. And I just put it all over the base of my eyelid. I don't know what it is, but this like brownish color might be one of my faves. You can hear my dad hammering away. And then I don't think I use this for the glitter. I use this to blend out. So it's just like a flathead brush. I got it off Amazon. I'm pretty sure it's in my Amazon storefront. And I just blended it upward. Got it all smooth. Like literally that. I think that was it. Add a little bit more right here. Yeah, that was literally it. Same on this side. If you have like a brown that's like this, and then I use like this pinky shimmer color, which like I'm not, like I used to not be a fan of shimmers, but now I'm like, that look good. So, and I did it in like the backwards order of like where you put shimmers. You know how you usually like put shimmers in your inner corner? Well, this one that I do, I put it on the outside and that looked really pretty. So I'm excited to see that again. Make sure to get them as even as possible. Like so. And then, I go in with a little brush, Ooh, hello. I go in with a little brush like this. And I go into this like pink, reddish, shimmery. Like it's kind of shimmery, it's kind of not. I don't know, it's not like thick shimmer, but it's like lightly. And I just dab my brush into it, tap off the extra, and put it on my outer corner. Like so. I feel like you can literally do this eyeshadow look with like your finger. If you're like one of those people and you use your finger, you can easily blend this in and like have an eyeshadow look all done. 
could just blend that in, blend it upward, just like that. It's like very light, but I'm like telling you, I don't know what it is. In them pictures, it was looking so good. <laughs> Do the same on this side. Is that even? I can't tell. Oh, my mirror's not even. Yeah. Perfect. So it's like that. And then make sure you don't like get rid of the brown too much. Cute little shadow going with Valentino. Are you kidding me? It's so cute. Then my lashes. So I part my lashes, um, as you guys know from my Coachella prep vlog, so that I don't have to curl them and like worry about them falling down because I have heavy lashes. So I perm them so they're like pre-curled, <laughs> so I don't have to curl them. As you can see. And then I just went in with the Pillow Talk push-up lashes from Charlotte Tilbury and brushed them up. I do a layer of the mascara and then I use a spoolie and brush them out a little bit and then I add to wherever I took too much off with the spoolie. But this, um, Charlotte Tilbury mascara like does really well at already separating the lashes. Cause I don't like the volume kind of mascaras that like add like a lot of chunks to it. I feel like that doesn't look right. So I like to do this. And then I have to make sure all my lashes are up straight cause I did perm them. So sometimes they flip and it's like really annoying, but they curl back up very easily. Just like that. Now, I don't think I did bottom lash mascara, did I? I don't think I did. How can I tell though? Maybe I did a little bit. I can't really tell. But let me do the mascara and then I'll see. It is looking a little bit darker, so I think I did brown water line mas mascara. Liner one of the other days. So I am gonna go in with the black one and this one is the Revlon Vinyl Eyeliner and this one stays without like, you know, like dripping down. I also would use my black lip liner from my old Morphe collab, but I had to find it and I don't like doing that. So I'm gonna use this one because it works well. And I'm just going to make that waterline dark. It looks darker in the picture. I'm not for sure which one I did, but I'm gonna assume it's this. more like it and then I did do bottom lash mascara but lightly like so dang my lashes look good um I forgot highlight hello Fenty Beauty they just sent me a whole package hold on I got a package from Charlotte Tilbury and I got a package from Fenty Beauty where the Fenty Beauty products go Fenty Beauty just sent me a whole crazy amount of, oh, hello? Why does it take forever to focus, hello? It sent me a bunch of products. Let me see what I got. They got me Demi Glow Light Diffusing Highlighter. Oh, they're different colors? Oh, okay, so there's too, too much. There's Prosecco. I want some Prosecco. Ooh, there's a pink one. This is what a brat. Oh, I think I have the pink one. Oh, no, I have that at no wait, it's Kilowatt. I do have that one. I bought that one. Loose change. And these ones are duos. These are the Kilowatts. Oh, so this one I have that I use. Oh, what did I put? See, this is this is what goes. This is what happens. It's in my pocket. Like what? This one is lightning dust and fire crystal. So these ones are different colors. So this one is afternoon snack and mo honey. And this one is mean money and hustla baby. So I've never seen these shades before. I'm assuming they're new. I've always used this one in the Diamond Bomb. And they also sent me a Diamond Bomb in How Many Carrots because I love this one. This one is so good. It's like a loose glitter. It's so cute to, if you like doing the glitter on your eyelids um, and just have glitter, this is perfect for that. I'm telling you, it works perfectly. So they also sent me a, a brush. Let me look at that. I'm gonna try this out. I'm not gonna try them out for this video because 
This isn't what I use in the routine, but I am gonna be trying these soon, so stay tuned for that. And then I also got um, a makeup package from Charlotte Tilbury that is so cute that they just sent me. Like, look how cute all the products in here. I threw some of my own in here because I took this. I ended up taking this with me. But like, there's some lip cheats. There's, ooh, what is this? What is this? Sorry, I'm getting distracted. So like cream eyeshadow? I don't know why I smelled it. <laughs> I think it's cream eyeshadow in the shade Pillow Top. That would be cute. Like a eyeshadow that matches your lips. This is an eyeshadow palette. These are, ooh, clumps, lip clumps. Pillow Top, two shades, and oh, I got the big size Pillow Talk mascara. I've been using the small one. And then a brush. Cute, okay. They're definitely going in my routine. So I already used some of that stuff. And then I got a highlight brush from Fenty Beauty. I don't use it. I literally have 80,000 brushes. It's like not even funny at this point. You guys wanna see? This is my makeup desk. Don't judge me. But look at all my brushes. That's not all of them. There's some there. There's some like in all of my packages. Like there's containers of them here. Like I don't know what my problem is. I have, I have a makeup problem. Hence, I'm doing a makeup video, but anyways, going in with the Kilowatt by Fenty Beauty, and I'm going to be going in the Dense. I don't, I, we've been through this, and Grace, you're going to watch this, because I literally was just talking about this. I don't know what this is called, like what kind of highlight it is. Like, this one's like loose glitter, and then this one has like a color to it, um, but I'm going to use the brush she gave me, Miss Riri, and then I'm just going to lightly some on I don't want it to be too crazy but I want when a picture comes to the side I want it to have like a little glow Ooh, it's just subtle I used to do like crazy crazy highlight I don't really anymore but I still like to have it here on my nose and under my brow cute okay then I have a brush specifically for this all right where'd you go where'd it go are you in here? Is this you? This might be you. Ah, it is. I used the Morphe M506 for my highlight around my nose and like my eyebrows. I go in the same shade. I just put it over out there. Just to give a little something, you know? It's like over, overly on here because of my lighting. My settings are weird, but. And then my nose, you can see where the natural light is. So that's where I just put a little bit so that if my nose contour decides to like rub away I have the light still on this part like that perfect oh my god it's literally looking like it did I'm so excited okay lips I just added a little bit of Tatcha while I was like halfway through my makeup because my lips be crusty all the time I'm drinking a lot of water but like I'm not doing me justice like they're always chapped, like somebody help me. Then I'm like never consistent with using chapstick, like I'm not like an aquifer person that like carries it with me. I'm just like, oh, I need that. And then I put it on and then I forget about it. Instead of like constantly placing it, which I need to do. Which actually I have been using the Charlotte Tilbury lip balm with the rollerball one. That one's really good, I do like that. I have been carrying that around recently now that I've Literally, I've been complaining about my lips. But anyways, besides the point, stop chatting. Um, we're going in with Tarte Maracuja. I'm telling y'all, I've been using this for like a year now or however long. When this first came out, I got it and I haven't stopped using it. So this is the Maracuja Juicy Lip Liner in shade Mauve. I think that's how you say it. Don't correct me if I'm wrong. I don't care. And then the <laughs> Maracuja Juicy Lip. I usually use... This one, but they came out with the vinyl one too. It's just like a little bit darker. Like this is the lip vinyl. I don't know, like the, sh the color is like a little bit different. It's hard to tell. Yeah, like the color is like a little bit different. I don't know if you can see, this is the vinyl one. It's like a little darker, so it doesn't match the lip liner that I've been using, but I do like that shade as well. I just have to get the lip liner that matches it. But yeah, this, this one is in shade Hibiscus. Trust me. Lip liner, go in. And line your lips like usual. I'm just kidding. The only time that I've been getting ready recently is for my self-tape auditions. And I'm not allowed to use like 
shiny lip gloss and stuff. It has to be like very light makeup and I've been getting ready for those and I do my self tapes like early in the morning. And I'm so excited to be able to put maracuja on. I miss the shininess. I used to be like strictly matte but now I like gloss again so we'll see if I end up switching back. I also don't just line my lips, I fully line it because the maracuja is like, I don't know if I can explain it. It's a like juicy lip as in like kind of like lip gloss, but it's like very tinted, but it's still like, if you want it to like pop, put a base on. My tongue is literally yellow from Doritos from earlier. Okay, I think that's good. There's like that, you guys ever see that like white line? That goes around your lip, like first of all, what is that? Second of all, I have to cover it because I feel like it looks so weird. It's not even like that far. It's not even like that far over the line, but like, it's just like, like why is it white there? Like that stuff is in me off. Anyways. Is that even? I can't tell. Whatever. Now, maracuja. Only a couple of clicks. Stop clicking it like eight times. Put it on, y'all. Just want attention. It's not supposed to break, but y'all are squeezing it out too much. It's not a solid. It's like a jelly. We've seen those videos. They piss me off. Like I literally have like certain makeup creators that like purposely use the makeup incorrectly. I literally have blocked because I just cannot watch it. I'm like, just do it correctly. You know how to. You got like eight thousand comments telling you how to do it, but then the next video, like you still trying to figure it out and you do it wrong again. I know some people like that content though, so like, y'all eat that up. Me? No. Get to the point. Anyways. Where is my setting spray? Charlotte Tilbury, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Right here. Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. When I tell you it's good, I'm telling you it's good. Or why would I be telling you? It's not a promo. Just use it. Just spend the money on it. Trust me. It's worth it. I feel like my lips are uneven. Are they uneven? Chat, chat, are they uneven? I feel like this side of my, oh, this side of my lip is like smaller. Anyways, hide your hair. <laughs> oh wait, let me make sure all the creases are out. Okay. Now, soak your face in setting spray. Not mist it, that doesn't do anything. You know how when you spray it and there's like little droplets, it's not getting everywhere. So you need to soak your face in it and then dry it. So like, I usually have my fan like ready. But I don't know where I put it. Where did I put it? It's like on the floor somewhere. Oh, it's right here. I got this big fan. This is Slay. <laughs> and you just spray your face, soak it, and then dry it so it doesn't drip. Like that. Oh. It's like the same. Is using sunscreen. There's a hair on her lip. If you use like the super goop sunscreen mist on your face and you spray it like lightly, you're not covering that then. It's not getting everywhere. You have to soak your face in these products because then it's not gonna work. Like it's gonna work in the spots that you lightly sprayed it. So you feel like you're wasting a lot of it, but you're not. Like literally it says mist over entire face. Well, you can use it before. I don't use it before though. I used to not soak my face. Like I like the misting ones, like the Morphe one where you like drag it over. That one's nice too. But I feel like this like locks in. Like this is a locked in product. Like on lockdown. But let me just try it. But the thing I like about this one is that you can like feel it like I don't know what it is. Like you can feel it dry. Like you can feel it tightening on your face. And it stays like that. Like it never goes wet. It's like a facelift. <laughs> I'll let the rest of it dry on its own. Brow, cause what you doing? I might have to redo that brow with the gel, cause I decided to fall down. But yeah, yeah. Okay, one second. Okay, this is the makeup. I don't know what it is. It just looks. It does not look like me. Anyways, thank you for watching. Um, all of my Coachella pictures are up by now. Go check them out. Go look at the picture from this. The this came from it's on my instagram but yeah i hope you guys enjoy it also like didn't expect like valentina to like come into my makeup routine now but now it's in my makeup routine so shout out valentina and they gifted me this when i was in rome with them i miss rome <laughs>
anyways i'm gonna wear this all day so thank you guys for watching leave a like down below also comment down below video ideas i'm going to be posting more because grace is now editing for me so everyone say shout out to grace she is your hero but yeah leave a like subscribe look at all my links down below make sure to follow me on my other socials and i'll see you guys soon let me know if you guys try this makeup look out and if you guys like it okay